three sisters are aged 1, 5 and 12. Determine their mean age and range. Okay, so their mean age, we need to add them up. Okay, that comes to 18. So then the mean would equal 18 then. The total sum, divide them by how many are there. There's three sisters, so you get six. So that's the mean. The range will be the highest, take away the lowest, so you get 11. Okay? How will they mean age and range be affected in one year's time? Okay, what's going to happen to their mean and their range when they're one year older? Well, we can actually just have an attempt to see what's going on here with the mean and range just by these values. So in one year's time, the one-year-old will be two years of age, the five-year-old will be six years of age, and the 12-year-old will be 13 years of age. So if we work out the mean then, okay, we need to add these numbers first, don't we? So add them up, you get 21. So the mean then would be the total, which is 21, divided by the, th the three sisters. So you get seven, okay? So notice the mean has increased by one year, okay? Because we're one year further ahead. If we look at the range, now the highest is 13. The lowest will be two. So 13 take away two is 11. Notice the range does not change, okay? So, we can say the mean age has increased by one year. Because, of course, they are all one year older. So, if they're all one year older, the average age should increase by one year. But the range has remained the same. Now, remember, the range is not an average. It's a measure of spread. So if you think about it, the, how spread out the sisters are, the, it's going to be the same, isn't it? It's not going to be affected because they're all growing up by one year. So the range will be the same. Information then about the age of a group of horses is go, given below. The, the mean age of these group of horses is three years, six months. And the range of their ages is two years, one month. If none of the horses leave the group over the next eight years, complete the following table for information about their age in eight years' time. Well, if you think about it, in eight years' time, their mean age is going to increase, isn't it? Because they're going to get eight years older. They are all going to get eight years older. So all we need to do is to add eight onto this. So you get that three plus eight is 11. So it's 11 years, six months. But remember, just like the first example, the range is going to stay the same because they're all going to grow up by eight years. So the, the, the range of the ages the gap between the, the oldest and the youngest is still going to be two years and one month. Okay. Um, let's look at number three here. It says, the table below compares boys and girls results in the geography test. Compare the results of boys and girls. So we need to sort of make some statements now based on the information here. Now clearly the median score is a very important score because the median is the middle student. When you when you put the students in order, the middle one gives you then the average of that group. And you can see the girls have done better. Okay? So we can say on average, we're allowed to use that word on on average because the median represents our average. On average, girls have done better than boys. Okay. And we can even be a bit more sp specific. We can say, look, the girls did 10% better. Okay, Girls scored 10% better than boys. Okay, so that's one way of compa comparing, but there's also another way as well. You've got the lower score and higher score. We can have a look at the range as well. So if we look at the range, okay, um, if we start off with the boys... So the boys, 98% was the highest, okay, so quite high, and then 50% was the lowest. So highest take away the lowest is 48%. So that's how spread out the boys are in terms of their percentages. The girls range, okay, the highest again is the same as the boys, 98%, but the lowest is only 80%. Okay, so they are less spread out, aren't they? In fact, the range for girls is only 18%. So what we can actually say here, the girls have actually done better again, haven't they? The girls are more consistent. That's what we can say. And that word is important. That's the word I would use. More consistent, okay, 
because their scores are less spread out. Okay, you know what type of girls you've got here. They they they're all doing really really well. With the boys, they are much more spread out. So you have ones that are doing well, but then ones who aren't doing so well. So there's much much less consistency with the boys. But here you can see with the girls, they are more consistent in their scoring. 